I'll be honest with you, I still got a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth from the last run. You know, it's it, it, they're just feelings, it's okay, but it, it does sting a little bit. How about, um, how about that right there? Windmill Strike Worship, and is that an upgraded Consecrate? So not having, um, not having four energy always takes some getting used to. That's honestly, I'm not even interested in like having blocks, so. I don't know why you think I would. It's kind of, it's strange that you think I would be interested in having blocks. But we, we I think those are pretty decently upgraded cards, man. I can live with it. I can also, I, maybe I'm a, an insane person for continuing to take Reach Heaven. But I, I truly believe in it, man. Especially with a Reach Heaven, like, blasphemy setup, which is reasonably easy to create the conditions where that'll come to pass, especially with a total of 12 cards in our deck. Are you dead? I gotta do the numbers, unfortunately. So I can go to four energy. You're on 31. You'll take 30. Yeah, you're dead. That's not the most stylish way to get the kill, but... Sue me. I like Rushdown. Okay? Even, even if we're only playing Eruption, I can live with it. I think... I'll accept two damage to get the Acid Slam closer to death. The thing is, it's really beneficial if possible. Oh my god, how could you do this to me? <laughs> to, I was going to say to play the Worship before you reshuffle the deck, because then you could draw it and you basically get a free kill, but it's okay. It's not, a, it's not a big deal either way. You're basically dead. Almost anything I can draw will, will ruin your life. We didn't take too much damage. I kind of like this deck, man. I also, I mean, I'll level with you. I do, we don't need a second worship. We don't. We don't. We have one worship and 14 cards. It's not necessary. We could build, I think at least, we could build a worship deck. Eruption's coming out next turn. Okay. It requires the right stuff to show up at the at the right time, but I mean the best time to do it is when your deck is like as, as thin as it can be, right? Wheel kick is pretty great too. We got a lot of expensive cards. This would be a great time to um, I don't know. Have four energy. But I, I it's greedy to always expect to have four energy on the on the first floor. That's greed. It's greedy to, like, expect to have blocks. That's greed, man. It's greed to, to expect to be able to block with your deck. I really would prefer not to split you, but I essentially have no choice. You've, you've left me no choice. If we don't fight to the death, they will kill us both. Go ahead. All right. Well, I mean, very early on, we're going to figure out whether this run has a, a genuine chance. <laughs> Be goaded to draw... Not these is what I was going to say. We should probably get a Reach Heaven going. So we got a Through Violence ready to go. Windmill Strike is at least getting better. Rush down. I mean, you got to pop this turn. So give me a Crescendo. Give me a Through Violence. Give me a Consecrate. Give me a strike and then give me a worship because we can play windmill strike next turn, especially if we draw worship again. That would have gone crazy. That would have gone insane. I'm not even going to do the math. That's how that's how cheesed off I am right now. Get owned. My combo worked. Gear ya. Okay. What about... I guess we should take it. Early Gyria has me thinking that you have to commit to that. And I've been wrong about a, a great many things in my life, and that might be one of them. Really got to try to kill you as soon as possible. Maybe this is a crescendo wheel kick type situation. And then next turn, pop two flex potions. <laughs> sorry to do it, but you're better safe than sorry, man. Hit you for 38. Hit you. We maybe only need to use one, but... 
Cut through fate to select your draw. Ma bank equals don't hit a shop on this floor. Two strength up. Putting a lot of pressure on Bowling Bash to come through in the clutch here. How about a little vigilance? I mean, I don't want to be frail, but Jawworm is annoying, man. You gotta go. I'd rather just kill you fast and then deal with the frailty. Because at least if you're, if you're hitting me with the frailty, you're not doing damage. You piece. 10 damage incoming. Any chance there's a Consecrate lurking in the wings? Oh, but imagine though. I'm gonna have to rest, man. We actually, I think we match pretty well against the slime. I think. We're not waiting around for anything. This is a little bit of a different deck. I love Judgment. That's a good card. How about healing me? Okay, leave? <laughs> Question marks no longer have fights. Mm, would you upgrade two cards if it killed you? No, probably not. We're dodging the shop because we're trying to make Ma Bank actually work productively for the first time in my life. I, I understand it's a relatively well-regarded uh, relic, but me personally, haven't always had the opportunity to use it as well as I would like. We gotta go Indignation, man. But we've literally added no blocks, and then we get like mad. I'd rather not fill my deck with gain two mantra. Like that's a that's a slap in the face. Especially when we have so little draw. Well, we actually have like okay draw. Battle him. I don't know, man. Give me indignation. It just it feels right. I'm I'm going in, okay? Three strength up is no joke. And we do we need a little bit of luck. I would say the little bit of luck is it would be amazing to draw windmill strike relatively quickly which is exactly how it went down. And then I think I probably got to pop Indignation just so I can be in Wrath on the next turn and hopefully split you no matter what your HP looks like. It's interesting. I think I'll just take the free Apotheosis. Take you down to 52. Judgment or like mantra coming around, whatever it's called, would be incredible. We don't need it, man. We don't need it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That was uh, the greatest colorless potion of all time. Okay, now we're three st strength up. We have a lot of cards we would like to upgrade. I think devotion is actually the play. Because devotion plus worship will really speed up the process here. And they want to give us energy. I'm doing it. We didn't get a chance to upgrade on the last, flo uh, last floor. So this is synergistic, man. It's synergistic because we can upgrade. We, we want to upgrade slash probably have to upgrade to win anyway. It just makes sense. Now some blockers, please. Thank you. No, no, no. On this one... I know we can't rest, so this may... Ah, uh, maybe losing 21 max HP is freaking goaded, man. We go down to 47 HP, but we can actually heal ourselves a little bit. Yeah, okay. I'm glad, I'm glad I took two seconds to think about it. I would love to not hit a shop on this floor, at least until later, if we could avoid it. Because again, Ma Bank, you get, you get twelve gold per floor until you spend money. That's that's a significant chunk of change, lad. I mean, I think I gotta go indignation. We draw, we gain energy. I kill you, silence. I kill you, and then I don't quite kill you. I could, I could have done it in the other direction, then you'd definitely be dead. Okay, whatever. We, we'll take the one damage. Which gives us the time to farm up with bites, man. Allegedly. No? No, we're cooked? <laughs> no, we're not cooked. We're not, I should have done two bites first. That's fine. That's fine. This is good. Dude, I'll take an evaluate for sure. 25 cards? Sure, 25 cards. 20, 25 are the greatest cards you're ever going to see in your life. 
And my, my basic attacks are doing so much more damage as a result of Giria. I'm starting to believe there's a chance, man. I'm going insane. There's no reason to do this. Crescendo. Indignation. Everybody's vulnerable. Get tapped. Get tapped. Get tapped. Can you believe that? Duplication potion clears the thorns. I am pretty tempted to rock a tantrum, but I also would be loath to compromise the existing balance of our deck, to be honest with you. You know what? Turn one. It's interesting. Very interesting, but it clogs our deck. Turn, turn one, give us extra strength. Because we're doing stuff on turn one. This is not a joke, man. This is not a joke. Now, what do you upgrade? <laughs> that gets you there in two turns. That's mighty interesting, I think. I know we haven't played the card a single time yet, but I'm telling you, I think it's the way. <laughs> one day we will play it, okay? This is a Fear No Evil Eruption Consecrate Bite Reach Heaven and basically if we draw like two attacks you're dead. We drew one attack. <laughs> Undefeated. <laughs> Still very good. I'm telling you that on long fights we'll be happy we have worship and the, the devotion, okay? I don't know, it's not necessary. Empty mind does appeal to me. I don't want to get stuck in wrath. And I'm, I'm skipping the potion. And the three-wheel motion. This is just like a kind of a horrible turn, right? Of course, I could enter calm. I, I don't mind taking one damage to hit you a little bit and enter calm. I can live with it. You're cooked. That's wonderful news. We have not played Rush Down. Um, I mean, honestly, I think I'd rather just play a Bite than a Defend. It does mean that we take more damage, obviously, but it doesn't fill our deck with complete dog doo-doo. Any chance you're deceased? Any chance you would do me the, the service of being diseased? Yes. Yes, there is. I guess we could have... We play your Bites first, man. You gotta, the, the fry bites back, my man, but you gotta give it a chance to do that. I will not be losing all 700 gold here. That's just not gonna happen. Um, I mean, you gotta, you gotta crescendo on a turn like this. And then I'll level. I know you're gonna make my deck slower, but like, I think I'd rather just bowling bash you and then kill you anyway and then dude we have a very strong deck <laughs> like we kind of have like a disgustingly strong deck should have played two bites again but didn't i just see you guys literally one second ago I'm, i must be mistaken 30, 26, 39. I could kill one. I think it's probably... And you know what? Pop the Ancient Potion as well. We don't need the double heal, so give me the double through violence instead. We only take 11 damage. Not that much, as long as it's temporary. Um... This is the problem with the Watcher, man. You start having to do the, the Watcher math. 19 damage to you takes you to 33. We could always fear no evil, then go Indignation. Then Bite. Which would put you on 42, 18, 20. Okay, so one second. So it puts you on Judgment range. This puts us on four energy. Okay, so we'll be on three energy. We could then hit you for 30 and play this for five. We'll take 16. The alternative, well, we have to kill one of you. 
Could we kill you? And no, we'd rather this. This is the way. This is the way. I wish it weren't the way, but this is the way. We take another 11 damage, and now hopefully we can kind of like bite farm you. Uh, I'd love a way to exit my stance. I'd lower it. Sure, maybe you'll give me a way to exit my stance. With no way to exit my stance, we'll just take our heal and leave. Whetstone. Empty body. Non-negotiable. Necessary. Great upgrade. I'm not going to apparitions this time because I feel like I actually got something cooking. I just remembered I can't heal as well. <laughs> hmm. I mean, free rushdown would would hit the spot. What about a what about a one energy ten block draw? Now this was like kind of our dream fight last time. I hope we can we can execute on that again. Like you gotta go. We don't really want vigilance. We don't want either of those. Eruption. Eruption's got me feeling a certain sort of way. Like I could erupt. Indignation. Bite ya. I recognize. I was going to say I recognize that I'm taking seven, but you know, I, I was so tunnel vision on playing devotion. Now you might be incentivized to attack this turn as a result, which presents a very serious problem for a guy like me. We live in a cold world, man. We live in a we live in a cold world. I don't even want to know how many cards would have allowed me to exit my stance there, okay? <laughs> that was the, it was the greatest run I've ever seen. It's the greatest run I've ever seen. You know what I would you know what I want to say about this? Tiny house upgrading a defend. We're not doing that. I need to take one tranquility because I need to. I need to just. I, it's there's two amazing runs in a row that have been ruined by not drawing something that allows me to exit stance. Hold the tranquility in hand so you can actually. Yeah, it just makes sense. So you can actually go into wrath, do your damage, and then pop out the other side. Because we on that one, we were cooking, man. We were cooking to a degree that like I'm. I'm actually stressed. <laughs> Which is, I'm taking a step back and I'm remembering that it doesn't really matter. But I am, I'm a little stressed because like that was a dream run. I'm a little stressed because two question marks turned into hallway fights here. That's pretty annoying as well. Take it immediately. You know what? Take it immediately. Take it right away. And now, hey, we got a miracle to play with. You gotta like... It doesn't mean you have to store it forever. You know, you, you got stuff to do too, brother. Now you, you're in a world of hurt here. I think this now, I, I feel like we have some degree of safety. I would love an empty fist. What a, what a perfectly cromulent card to build around. Do me a favor here, cut a defend, keep the deck lean and mean. We are low on energy because we're just starting and I'm playing way too fast, but <laughs> give me an eruption. Thought you'd never ask. This one's a little touchy. It's best if we can avoid playing blocks. An eruption, sands of time, doesn't get us there, but I'm sure an eruption, energy potion, sands of time does. Okay, we didn't take very much damage. Cost of a potion, and we got a bottled miracle out of it. Give me a bowling bash. Lose 55 gold. I'm not worried about it. Do I look like the kind of guy who's worried about it? How about frozen egg giving me upgraded powers? 64 gold? Gold matters, man. I'm losing 6 max HP. I'm probably going to give up my max HP anyway. And make the deck strong, man. Sands of Time effectively doing 12 more damage. It matters. Meaningless shop. You know what? Maybe it's not meaningless. Maybe maybe a like water is a perfect addition to this messed up engagement we got going on here. I mean, upgraded empty fist. I'm just wondering. <laughs> I haven't done enough hallway fights on this floor, man. Well. It stings, but you do what you can. 
This is like an inversion of our previous runs, man. Like, on this one, we actually have, like, no... Well, I guess we have some relics, but... The relics are not... In my opinion, it's not the most transformative relics in the game, but at least our cards actually got upgraded. All right, the, the last one, it's fading from memory. I'm bringing myself back to an emotional baseline where we have a good chance here. And I'm going to take a crescendo because we need to be able to we need to be able to stance and dance at will. Make mental fortress a little bit better. And this guy, I'll be honest with you, I, I think he's nothing but a peanut. Especially when we have a sands of time that we can pop at our leisure. 16 we can't really pop it at our leisure. We kind of have to pop it like right now. <laughs> 72 damage, six blocks. It's really 36 damage. It's gonna sound crazy. I'm gonna slow ball him. We could easily, you know, bottled miracle, crescendo, sands of time him, but like I, I don't think there's any I don't think there's any real reason to do it. Like, we can slow play the you-know-what out of this guy. You can even pop your Tranquility. Takes you up to 18 block. Obviously, that now that I look at it, that was not really necessary. Mental Fortress is getting you out of a jam here. We're about to reshuffle. It's the perfect freaking time. Perfect. Love it. It's the perfect time to play a Cheap Sands of Time, because it could immediately come back around. And it didn't, but it could have. So with 20 damage here, it is tempting to eruption. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It's acceptable to take a small amount of damage. Wait for Sands of Time to come back. Hit you. Hit you. And do you, are you seeing what I'm seeing, man? Sands of Time could come back on the very next turn, in which case this fight's already over. Now it didn't. I didn't say it had to, I said it could. It took its sweet time, and you know what? We're grateful for that. My bad. <laughs> we did still put ourselves in harm's way. Duplication potion. It's hard for a guy like me to not take scrawl, especially when we're stance dancing. And brother, I mean, this is it right here. No strikes, no defense. Follow up, carve it. Meditate's huge. We have none block. But we do have a sand, uh, not a sands of time. We have a mental fortress. <laughs> Let's take some relatively non-risky paths early, if I, if I may. What a miracle eruption. Scrawl. I just want to see what we're cooking with first here. I mean, there's like a, a play with Worship Meditate. You could even like, maybe this is psychotic, but you could always just double up on your Worship. And then... End your life, I suppose. And we got a potion out of it anyway. It is hard for me to imagine that... Like, again, the draw is so important, man. The draw is so important. I'll buy one potion. That's a good potion. 20 gold well spent. One day we're going to be able to spend some money on a shop. I guarantee it. I personally guarantee that to you. Oh, horrendous first. Do you, do you normally do 21 damage on the first turn? That's crazy, man. That's, that's a, a, a ruthless amount of damage. That's, that's kind of unbelievable to me. I just, I, I can't believe the the amount of damage I'm taking here right off the bat. But I should, because it's the second floor, and this the second floor often goes down like this. Can we, like, erupt? Insight. Mantra. Okay, so worship is, is starting to look more and more tempting. I think I gotta bail out. Change stance, which allows you to put up more block. Change stance again. You're in calm. A rushdown would really hit the spot as well. Okay, so this is an interesting time in a young man's life. There's worship. 
So what it, it takes us too long to get the pieces together. But when all the pieces are gathered, we can kind of enter uh like divinity at will. But it does take a minute to get there. <laughs> now I'm gonna make the same mistake I've been making for a while. I'm gonna leave myself in the wrath state. What's coming up next turn? Ways to end exit stance. That's important. So you know what? Give me a study. Play play your setup pieces. Play your setup pieces. Cheap reach heaven. Love that. Pretty much hate everything else that's going on here, to be honest. That's pretty nice, though. That's not great. I guess I could have... Man, I don't know if I could have killed you. I could have put you closer to death. How about a crescendo? I don't think I... I don't know. I don't think I got you, man. I can, like, erupt. Enter vigilance. Exit vigilance. Enter vigilance. <laughs> 39 damage. But I only have one attack, man. I think this is a, it's yet another survival turn. I was hoping for a zero cost card. It sucks that we're taking seven off of this, but it is what it is. I mean, Crescendo Sands of Time has got to take you out with a little bit of a supporting cast. Just hold, man. Just hold. Ah, just hold. <laughs> I'll remove a card. What are we not messing with right now? I think it's the, the lowest value card for us to be drawing. This retaining, I know we should probably be resting, but I think resting is just like it's another word for dying in this game. On A20, like in this situation, we, we got to shoot for the moon, I think. What is this garbage, man? What is this garbage? Can't even afford to play it. We should, we should play it. We should play it. We need that smite to get through this next turn. Now we're going to have no decks, man. I mean, minus four decks is... That's nasty work. But we can still... Like... Get Mental Fortress... And then just change stance a bunch, hopefully. I think we gotta hit you. Scrawl, mental fortress, mental fortress, no mental fortress. How dare you? Um, well, okay. Get smote. And then I'm gonna exit my freaking stance. And then, I mean, 8 block is not nothing, man. 8 block is not nothing when he's only doing 12. This isn't that bad. How about Mental Fortress? <laughs> like water, play the Tranquility. How about Eruption? Sands of time and you're dead. Okay, we make these. Seems like a pretty good evaluate. I know what I said, okay? I know what I said and I stick by it. We upgrade our cards. We get war paint. It upgrades two cards. We heal for 12 HP. That's not really that's not really moving the needle. That's not really a meaningful amount of HP. I I feel like I'm I'm an insane person. Have you always been both attacking on turn one? That seems like madness, man. You do 16 damage and a debuff on turn one? I have blocks in my deck, right? <laughs> that, that might actually be uh, a statement that can be fact-checked as false. Because I definitely remember saying, oh, there's no blocks in this deck. All right, no matter. Give me third eye. I got a shop. It's full of stars. Uh, how about another mental fortress? I don't think we need lesson learned. Do we need to remove a card? No regen potion. 
Ooh, I think you might want to save your money. You are a piece of junk, man. I hate this guy. So do me a favor. Scrawl me. Miracle scrawl me. It's a turn where you really want to like play your enablers, but... If you can't, you can't. How about a free Sands of Time? You might be screwed, buddy. After everything we've been through, it would it would nothing would bring me more pleasure than to see your life end at the hands of a single potion. Eat it. Battle him is a real tough one to play. I think if anything, we want to evaluate, man. We need blocks. Nunchucks. Okay, so we're gonna have six HP for this fight. <laughs> And it's, it's, I would not say it's an easy one. Let's, uh, let's study. And I think you do Miracle and then you scrawl. You have to play Mental Fortress. I mean, these are psychotic plays. I'm just going to level with you. Um, I mean, of all the attacks that you could play, man, I guess we'll play. Maybe give me, it sounds crazy. Give me a third eye to set up the hand. And I do think I could I could take the first four cards right off the top there. And then miracle me so I can at least get an early setup on Divinity. But like this is gonna be uh it's gonna be hard. And not in a good way. I think you mm, no, if you crescendo you can't meditate. I mean you I guess you could meditate. <laughs> it's just it's uh, you know what we're playing crescendo? For 12 block once, that's not necessary. It's not necessary. Meditate a worship back into your hand and then uh, a good attack. It, it has to be follow up just because I mean, I guess you could play empty fist and just play it last because you're exiting stance anyway. Oh, and we finished in calm, so it's okay. Okay, now we can start to do a little bit of damage. So we can, like, you might as well empty fist first. Then you can play Worship. Five energy. You're doing 78. What are you holding? Reach Heaven. You're holding Carve Reality. We need to Reach Heaven more. And then don't draw yet. We don't want this to get filled with insights, but... Okay, 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 okay. Are you, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing that there's a chance? Because that's what I'm seeing. Let's um, evaluate. Now, if we are lucky enough to make it through this fight, and that's like a serious if. We definitely do want to see that. Um, then give me just... I don't know, brother. Give me another Reach Heaven. Then uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing next turn, so... Um, we would love to see an energy relic. Like, four energy would pop this wide open, man. Drawing that meditates kind of crazy. Let's, let's take this turn. Like, let's crescendo. And then drop some, drop some heat on this fool. That costs three. I'm not playing that. Are you, are you crazy? You've lost your mind. You gotta play a meditate. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I wish it weren't the case, but you gotta do it. Because it's also block. It's everything. It's like this gets you out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, you're, you're picking up on it, man. We'd love to play a worship, but it's got to be the right time. How about something that exits stance? No such luck, but we're, we're still putting up quite a lot of block, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll cycle it. I don't care. I don't care. I'll cycle it. I just wanted to see what we got going on. Okay, so I think we're, we're stuck taking a little bit of damage, but... No, we're not, because... I, I don't... Cause, oh, because of, of the calmness! <laughs> Alright, now this turn, you gotta go! It's one of those. It's this. We got extra energy back, too. We have a way to exit stance already. I think you gotta play Sands of Time. You play Worship. And then next turn, you pop these insights in hoping that you could maybe insight chain to get back to Worship. So first, third eye. We don't need to see any of these. 
and that's fine. Then it's insight and we're drawing. Tranquility is our, our I wouldn't call it a get out of jail free card. <laughs> Hang on, there's like, it's it's spicy, but it's like tranquility. If you're gonna do that, you might as well through violence first, which then allows you to play follow up, which might even allow us to, no, nah, they're probably uh, 52 plus 28. <laughs> it's so close, man. It's not quite there, but it's very close. Okay, so we gotta take a turn off. That's fine. That's fine, man. That's fine. Well, tranquility. Empty Fist, giving us the stance changes. Play a card of reality to set up a turn. Meditate, Empty Fist, and follow up back into your hands. And we're going to probably draw Divinity, so we'll have triple damage. Worship Divinity, whatever, man. Okay, so that was actually, like, surprisingly clean. Nobody's more surprised than me by that. We really, I would take basically any energy relic, I think. So like, let's go through it. Blasphemy, there's a temptation, but I think we get there without having the risk. Ragnarok, I just don't think it's good enough, especially if we're stuck on three energy. Alpha's just bad, so okay. We could always just dead draw lesson learned. No longer rest at rest sites. There, it's three good relics, man. It's three good relics. But I'm telling you sincerely, I think I need the energy boost. We're not able to play as many cards as I want. And we played two, we played three powers. It's on the high end of what I would like to see, but it's, it's not the end of the world. I do like this left path, although it has very little flexibility after the one campfire. Like water. Probably just play your setup cards on this one. It, it, it's the problem with this deck is it does take a minute to get going. Once it gets going, it's got some serious gas. I mean that in a complimentary way. Like you can play your crescendo. Now you're back to three energy. You can always get out of it with a tranquility, which I think is what I'm going to do. Give me a reach heaven and a tranquility. I just say I, I wanted to play study, but I don't think we need to play study. If we had mummified hand, it might be a different story. Draw. Eruption. Because we have a meditate, it's relatively safe, although we should be doing the math. And then we get an upgrade. Every time, man. I, I appreciate it, to be honest with you. You should have seen the fortress. It was absolutely mental is what I would say if I were British. Um, I mean, worship is just kind of a, it was a poison pill on the first turn, but we can now meditate back a worship and have a big turn. We're probably gonna wanna play like water, so let's scrawl. You're gonna go vigilance, crescendo, takes you back to three energy, gives you a ton of block. 36 plus 40, so there's like 50 damage. One more stance change with meditation is probably good enough. So let's go study and I'll, I'll carve some reality for myself and then I'll meditate, worship and reach heaven back into my hands. Sorry, I know I'm narrating, but like, I did the math a little wrong too, but this is, this is some serious business, okay? So like, that's huge. You being dead is very nice. At this 36, we still got five energy left. I, I mean, I can't believe I'm, I'm spending that heavy on you, but... Now, leaving you alive with one HP is sick, man, because I would love to get a lesson learned to work here in exchange for all the health we just gave up. Think you could hook me up on that one? Not interested, huh? That's no problem. Um, so I'm going to... I'm like, against my better judgment, I feel like I should let you live. As long as we can put up enough block. Which we can do... 
via playing like a single Tranquility. So this is like a really unnecessarily outsized risk, but we only have to beat Ascension 20 once, so it's like asymmetrical to begin with, brother. Third Eye to see what we're drawing. We want an Insight, we want an Eruption, we don't need a Vigilance, we don't need a Four Cost Sands of Time. Draw. Draw. Erupt. You do 26. That's such a disgusting miss, man. <laughs> I gotta wait for it to come back again. Okay, I mean, it's fine. We could play worship, meditate, worship. <laughs> Third eye to possibly make sure we draw a lesson learned. Like, it, it's, it's, not, it's just taking a while. It's not like we're in huge risk of death, but like, where's... Okay, we, we only want to see lesson learned. Next time then, next time. So we can't... I mean, we can obviously kill you, but... We need to not kill you. But it would be beneficial to take you as close to death as possible. We, we, we should have... Oh no, we have worship whenever we need it, man. We have worship whenever we need it. Third eye to scry for the, the lesson learned and then play lesson learned. It's worth it, man. It's worth it. As long as we don't make a miscalculation, it's worth it. So sure, there's, there's risk inherent there. Give me, give me that worship first. And then draw all your cards. Okay, so this is your toast. Your toast. Let's get that toast. Just a little annoying. Now talk to the I'm not sold on talk to the hand, honestly. I'm sold on the deck we got. Upgrade a card. Things you love to see. How about a scrawl that doesn't cost us a third of our energy? Didn't mean to rhyme there. There's a lot of great stuff. Um, rush down. I mean, I, obviously, meat on the bone is tempting. I feel like rush down draws more for us, which is important, even though we do have a lot of draw. And then master of strategy drawing, uh, like potentially early in a fight, means a lot to me. We got to play the cards we wanna, we wanna play. And we we could potentially make one more shop worth it, man, because we just donned the red mask. I think this is like water, worship, miracle, meditate. Because now we, we have a big turn, maybe not for damage, but like for energy purposes. Like you play mental fortress, then worship. That's right. He got the order right for once. That's right. I did it. Evaluate. You're going to probably want the block anyway. Another mental fortress. <sighs> you don't really want to leave the, the stance if you can avoid it. There is also the idea that, like, we could probably go, like, I know it's a bad word around these parts, but we could possibly go, like, semi-infinite. I guess semi-infinite is just another way of saying not infinite, but... <laughs> like, doesn't this look good, man? Or doesn't this look we're drawing everything? Go ahead, play your crescendo just for draw, because it doesn't matter if he hits you anyway. I was just going to say, then you get another worship out there, man. So that we played 14 cards on that. Obviously, we got to get going on this guy. Don't get me wrong, but... Now, this turn is not even close to as interesting, unfortunately, but... Reach Heaven, meditate, bring back a worship, and bring back, a, bring back another Reach Heaven. We're going to want it, man. We're going to want it. 40 damage. On the calm state. That stings. That's the sort of thing that, that'll sting you. Play your zero cost cards first. Two, two, two. I, th I think we don't want to play blocks. I think we want to go in on you right away. You probably want to play your less damaging cards first, but whatever. I don't want to play Empty Fist first, obviously. Maybe you play Reach Heaven. Then you get the follow up. Then you get a Through Violence. Then you get a Sands of Time. We got extra energy back as a result of that. Now we can... We're going to be putting up some block anyway. Let's put up some block. Let's see what we're drawing next turn. 
We're drawing some gas next turn, man. If anything, though, we don't need worship. Because we're not going to... Well, no, I don't think we're going to get there. It might be beneficial to draw some defense next turn. Or maybe we don't even want defense. 84 damage off that, though. I would say we don't want defense just because a card that changes stance generates like more value for us. I mean, are you seeing what I'm seeing here, man? Like this is again infinite. Is the that's a loaded that's a loaded term. But we're certainly cooking up something. You're gonna do 60. You're probably not gonna do enough then. Um, but what if we were to like carve your reality up a little bit first and then play this? It'll do 64, and then lesson learned will definitely do enough. Brilliance kind of fits. But it's just a question of if we need it. We have worse attacks. That's for sure. I honestly, I don't know if we play, ah, but it's going to be a pretty good attack. <laughs> Especially as fights go longer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. I, I, I don't think it's a big decision either way, but I think it's, it's worth taking. But draw, more important. Even one card once, I think. It's like the toughest decision we could possibly have, man. I mean, obviously, you want mental fortresses as soon as possible, but am I crazy to think that you want rush down as soon as possible so that you can enter wrath and then draw stuff that allows you to change? That? Just, just go with mental fortress. Don't, don't lose the boss fight in like the first two turns. Because now you got mental fortress, and it's it's going off, man. I do think. No, you don't need to be super aggressive on this turn. You can just... You don't even have to play a Brilliance, man. Because you want to play a Meditate. What, what, we're not meditating anything back. <laughs> okay. That's a good point. We need to meditate at the end because we need to get the extra energy on the next turn by being in Calm on this turn. It's There's a, there's a process to this stuff, okay? Am I crazy to think this is the worst turn I've ever seen in my life? That's probably a step too far, but... That's nice. It w I wish it worked right away, but that's nice. Reach Heaven, Carve Reality. We want just stance changers. 31. You're doing 39. Not that bad of a turn, considering that I, I think our draw is like... Has been pretty heinous so far. This is remarkably actually worse. Which I didn't think could be possible, but... It's alright, we take three damage. Not that bad. Not that bad. Now, things are supposed to pop, essentially. You're, you're supposed to eat it, basically. Like, I'm gonna play a worship, because we could pretty easily just draw another worship, man. We have the same worship. Give me a mental fortress. Give me an eruption. Give me a worship. Give me a scrawl. So you're cooked. Let's cook you with something cookable. The next turn you're done. Yeah, we don't we don't need to wait for anything. Once we get all our cards out there, you're done. It's a question of if we can make it that long. Four mantra and an insight. I think we gotta we gotta go through with that. We are kind of like an ins or uh, not an insight, but a we're kind of a divinity build. I'll just level with you, by the way. I got no idea how we do against spikers. We can generate a lot of block through stance changes, which is nice. In theory, at least, if any of those cards showed up right away. <laughs> which is uh, untenable, apparently impossible. Start with mastering our strategy a little bit. How about some of that? How about a little vigilance into a little bit of uh, an eruption? Into a little bit of uh, learning my lesson. That's not the way, wait, wait, wait. No, you do want to play lesson learned. Part of reality. Okay. We could scrawl. I don't really expect it. Well, you know what? Why don't, why don't we play tranquility and then scrawl? Because I feel like we're, we're close to like. I'm not going to say the word, but the opposite of finite. 
Like we could have meditated, but you're also like so close to death as is, man. You're doing 18 damage. This is a joke, in my opinion. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? It's not a joke. It's because you put so many daisies in my deck. You left me in a rough spot. Okay. Scared the you know what out of me, man. Third eye. Wait, insight me first. Insight me first. Pray for me. We have worship, so we can easily worship. Block. Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. Obviously, we need our health back. I'm not taking another mental fortress. It's too much. It's too much with the powers it be. Raise your max HP and heal it. Uh, it there, there could not be a better time for that to show up. No more powers, please. I think two block plus a draw seems to fit very nicely. And yeah, good idea. Take a second blessing of the forge. <laughs> You know what? Uh, you might, you're might you not going to spend your gold on anything else. You might as well. This isn't that bad. Mental Fortress. Consider your reality carved. Meditate. We've, we've generated some block. Now our HP should be very, very precious to us right now. Crescendo. We have an empty fist. I like to see that. I like to see that. It'd be nice to just kill you, man, because you're like the most annoying dude on the squad right now. 52. No, I think we got to take out the trash first. Sentences that go hard. Should have hit you with one smite. You know, I, I still will, but for less effect, of course. But you gotta be you gotta be feeling the burn right about now. Funk soul brother. So let me see. Is is there a lethality? Is the lethality in the room with us right now? You have 83. If I do 52, then you're at 31. This will do 26. We we have enough. We have enough. No, brother, they'll be expect. No, we do not. We don't have the energy base. You don't have the energy base to do that? 31. Yeah, because we need we need to play this. <laughs> we do. Oh, welcome, Nunchuck. Thank you so much. That was huge, man. I now pronounce you Nunchuck and Larry. Nine damage is one of those where uh, you got to eat it. That's an acceptable turn. This is not an acceptable turn, but it's a heinous draw. I mean, obviously, we're not going to eat that. Don't insult me. I'd prefer not to eat that. I can live with that. I can live with taking 18 damage. I think it's not really fair what you're doing to me. I think I'm being scammed right now, but... I can live with it. Now, what do I want to see? I want to see powers, man. I want to see powers. And what do I want to see? I want to see ways of exiting various stances, which generates a staggering amount of block for us. I want to be at full HP for this boss, okay? Any chance we end this turn in calm? Yes. It's more than a chance. I'd say it's more like a guarantee. Because you can erupt first. Get three energy. Do like a... Now do a Vigilance. Then exit. I'm just... I'm building up a staggering amount of block right now. That's that's the whole game plan. Then Master of Strategy me. Finesse me. Pray and, and start doing triple damage me. I mean, just, just don't end on the curse. We can pretty much do anything as long as we don't end on the curse. Scrawl me? I don't I don't care, man. I don't care. Send it around. Now, if I was to meditate, bringing back prey and finesse? Hmm. 
This does 65 damage by itself, but it might leave us on a curse. I can't do it, man. It, we couldn't bring back both. We could only bring back Finesse. Okay. But still, like, Worship takes us very close. Like, Finesse me. Insight me. Like, no more means to generate draw. But we can crescendo, <laughs> which draws. <laughs> the empty fist. Erupt, which draws. Worship and pray. Hang on, you're, you're seeing the cookery. Lesson learned does not quite get us there, unless it does. 29, you have 30 HP. <laughs> and you're cursing me. You're doing 24 plus block. I'm not gonna kill you, man. I know it sounds crazy, but like, I firmly believe we could just kill you next turn, or we could wait longer and lesson learned could, could whip back around. Look at this brilliance, by the way. I told you. I freaking told you. Okay, well, that's, that's block. That's block. That's cap. Don't change his pattern. You're, you're in a great spot. I mean, this is, this is a beautiful little delicate dance we got going on here, brother. I'll, I'll wait for lesson learned as the day is long, my friend. Do you think I care about this? No shot, buddy. There's lesson learned, my friend. There it is, right there. Go ahead and meditate that prayer right back, just in case. So I'm not saying we got this, but I do think given how like semi-tilted we came into the run, I'm kind of stunned that it's like, it's plausible. I also, we don't need to upgrade all cards twice. I do love a deceive reality, but you know what? I think we got a, a very, very demonstrably good deck here. These cards do not need to be upgraded. Now, against what you might say is good judgment, both of those have to come out. We, we need the block. We're, we're, we're playing the powers because the powers have to do more for us than they do for him. And that's okay. And then we got to start whipping this around. <laughs> and it's got to happen. It's got to happen quick. Because this is no joke. So I think you go... We don't have to play like water necessarily. We can stall that one, I think. All these cards are already upgraded. That's, that's incredible. Let's... Let's erupt. Maybe um, kill you. Play a third eye. I do want to see rushdown. I I want to see this is a. It seems to me to be a beautiful draw. And then do me a favor and bring back. Um, I mean, just a, it's hard to go wrong, I guess, with like a finesse and something that allows you to exit stance. And remember, we got to save some HP for the next fight as well. I'd take no pleasure in, in buffing him. I promise you that. But something's got to give. Draw. Five energy. Isn't that a gum? Anyway, it's not really germane to the conversation right now. <laughs> I think the play here is maybe just build your block up. You could also do the math. That's that's a funny way of doing this, but now am I gonna play study? We might just simmer on study. Um let's let's empty fist. That's a great block in and of itself. Then it allows us to follow up. Master of strategy can come out. More insights in our deck that way. Never hurt anybody. It seems insane to me that we don't have any other blocks. But uh, sure, I'll, I'll play Tranquility if I gotta play Tranquility. And we got a lot of held cards right now. No question about that. You're doing quite a lot of damage. I do have a Meditate, so I can definitely, like... I, I can go off a little bit. I mean, even the sands of time is pretty good here. I need to be able to play meditate at the end. It would probably we need to play some blocks as well. I think 
Because you're doing four, you're doing like a hundred damage, man. I need more, I need more. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And this feels pretty bad. I think we maybe don't play your meditate yet. That's psychotic, but I guess I'll, I'll carve reality. Oh, we got an energy back. I'll carve reality once more. Meditate prayer back into our hand along with like a sands of time. So you should be flipped, but we're going to have like, yeah, we're going to have 10 HP for the next fight. Not necessarily ideal. What is ideal though is killing you and then going triple damage mode immediately. Look at this guy. He's talking about the next fight. <laughs> As if it's like set in stone that we're even going to live through this fight. We wouldn't mind seeing all that next turn or e even this turn, to be honest with you. Now, what do we want to see next turn? I mean, we could use prey, honestly, and then meditate's just nice to have. So you're going to wake up. You're doing 96 damage. 96 damage, certainly I would call that far from ideal. But we can pray. Yes, okay. What's the next step? What's the step that allows you to not perish here? Hitting you a lot? That's, that's nice, don't get me wrong. That's a bonus. We also, for sure... Carve Reality is doing 48 damage. Holy cow. We need to play our blockers. Meditate is going gonna, is gonna to generate a good amount of block for us. Meditate back like... Two, meditate back a prayer and a sands of time. We take seven. All right, boys. I think we're... <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one before. I'm pretty sure we're about to lose on the uh, on the second boss. <laughs> Not this guy, man. Not this guy. Got no room for error. I think it needed to be better than that. I appreciate what you've done. It needs to be. It needs to be powers. I right, we're 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 done. We're done. But yet again, we're we're knocking on the door, man. <laughs> for now thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you did click the like button i'm so great deal of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future but now, thanks for watching i'll see you next time see ya